<laughs> so free pussy. Hey, game is game. Yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. You could know because remember when she came over there with Jaden? And she was talking about how she was cheating on me, and I thought I was cheating back anyway. And I didn't give a fuck. Because I didn't. Oh, I got Patrick Mahomes, bro. Oh my god. Start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense. Not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive edge. Linebackers are guys that you put big money to the second quarter. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. Come on, Patrick Mahomes. And not giving ground. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this No, Kelsey's supposed to be doing that. What the game. fuck? Play action, it's Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun what battle throughout this bad, game. Dude. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. That means he get a lot of pussy. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> From midfield, here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. There's my boy, Kelsey. Come on. Stop playing with him. Doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured No, bro, what happened to Kelsey doing that? After that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first Come on, Kels. No, bro, that's not Kelsey. I'm in the fucking ball, Jason. Come on, man. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Pacheco. Almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, uh, this is actually kind of pissing me off, bro. And shifting can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice gain. On first down, Mahomes. Catches I'm so fucking good at Madden, bro. Oh my god. Five, he'll be stopped at the six. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. On second and goal, Mahomes. <coughs> Another one. Isaiah Pacheco, a two-yard touchdown grab, and the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Butker is on target. Well, I swear the Chiefs are so fucking good, bro. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no return on this one is the fair catch a signal for and take it. Bro, just throw the ball, bro. <laughs> T 
Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They set up the screen for Henry. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch <laughs> loose from him. Incomplete pass. Oh, my God, you're like so sick, man. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. I got you, man. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. This kid is so fucking ass. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. <laughs> a first down carry for Henry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry, 40 yards! And the Titans respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. <laughs> Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. <laughs> Damn. The throw here is incomplete, and with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, a one-point game, yep. seven to six. Oh This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. <laughs> the KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. On the move to his left. That's caught left side by Hardman. Easy money, easy. Before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Mahomes throw complete there to Smith Sweet Schuster. There, bro. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 34 yard line. That one goes he's for out. 13 ah, yards go, and it moves the sticks. He's out. 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 He's out.
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Able to find Gray here. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty the fuck is beating me? At the last second helped force the ball free and kept them out of the end zone. <laughs> Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard oh. line, second and goal. Oh. Once more. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. All right, Captain. That's a bad the hatch is time defensively. Dodge two Do we got any slants? Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're man. throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation... Bro, I'm too fucking good. Too good. Too good. Too good. Too good. Too Travis Kelsey from eight yards out. And they're able to... Travis Kelsey and Patrick Rose, bro. I love them too, bro. They're so great. No, Pause it for the goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. They're going to try and run. Shit! He's going to come up empty here as they stop him short of the goal line, and this will remain a one score game as the lead holds at seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker oh, on to kick it away. Shut up, Dylan. Fair catch signaled for and take it successfully. Oh my god. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drop that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Tannehill's throw pulled in by Woods. And he's no, upended he at the 33, big following big a good pickup of eight. They'll come to the line, needing no, only two here. yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Tannehill. And finding the tight end, Hooper. So all he does is the same fucking play, but he ass. First down yardage. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll play blow dead, bitch. <laughs> Three double buzz. Come on, let's go. Lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And some room to run now. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to the ground now. It's Henry brought down at the 20. This guy does not know how to manage clock timing, bro. He's so ass. Bro, literally the second quarter, there's 30 seconds left going, you're not taking the time out, bro. He's so fucking ass. Oh, now he wants to take his time out. They'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So third and long after the sack. Tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And incomplete on the Bitch. Deep ball. Fuck that. Boy, just kick a fucking there. field goal. You for don't sure. take a fucking chance. What does he do? What does he do? This guy. But the thought process, spot on. I'm not sure about that front. No. Need 15 seconds. And the Chiefs are going to get the ball back on the turnover they didn't as they hold on for down. down. Well, we saw <laughs> plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first round selection. And now here he is making interceptions oh in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. I know I'm slow. Well, I'm not slow, but you fast. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. I'm be dead ass like. Throwing like, now is Mahomes. If, like, if we do like real, the pressure MLB right. Ratings, this shit probably, like, Completes it to Hardman. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. <laughs> Final shot before the half from Mahomes. He's going to fire no, one deep over bro. the middle. It's oh, really and see it. Defenders have intercepted. Picked up by <sighs> And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon God, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Tannehill down a throw. That 
Oh my god, Matt Gay, bro, you're so sexy. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Shit, I can't do that. Fuck. Oh, that was a fucking bitch. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Uh, I should really see that shit. But it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And the Titans will take over possession here up at the 44. But their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. <laughs> Yo, what? Second down, they go again with Henry. 63 yards now on the ground on just seven <laughs> carries. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be that big, big ass black man, man. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. That penalty accepted and they move the ball forward. First down, Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. <laughs> They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he gets him a little bit closer and takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. No fucking way. Run, bitch! What the fuck? The carry here for the big tight end. And he will fight his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Chigakakwo taking it in from four yards out. And the Titans have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. God. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. <laughs> Tannehill looking to throw. And this will be caught. As they convert here for two. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Tie in the ball game and feel like we're just hanging with it. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one point lead. And that just changes the complexion of the whole game. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Are they are looking to make a bit of a 180. Right? They are sputtering right now. 
And frankly, I think it's time to pull your playmakers together. Bro, who the say, fuck all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. On play action, they'll throw. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Henry again. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. Now Bullock will send this one away yeah, after the Bullock touchdown. The one up already? What the fuck? He just put his ass in there. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. <laughs> KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. What, dude? Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Mahomes now to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and run it here. <laughs> zone again so he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion and that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further now after the touchdown here's butker on to kick it away the, 
return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down, now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Yeah, Let's go, Pete. Let's go. Let's play with me. Because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Woo! Fourth and 11. Come on. Please stop the... Come on, defense. On fourth down, Tannehill. Yes! <laughs> Now all I have to do is run the ball down because if we're going, go home. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. <laughs> On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Two-minute warning, come on. Yes. <laughs> This kid is an ass, bro. He, he can't, like, all he can do is run the ball. Like, he's so fucking ass, bro. Oh, my God. Patrick Mahomes, man. Oh, that's football for me. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line. Sam, bro, I'm not joining you. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. And your dumbass is wasting your timeouts at 1 minute and 50 seconds to go, bro. Oh, please get better help, bro. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Come on, QB sneak. Come on. Let's go. The Chiefs will indeed go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Come on, Jason. End this game. Come on. Let's go. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
he's got no choice but throw the ball now. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Here's Tannehill. Looking middle. 37. Let's go. Completed there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back Defense. in this situation. He'll need Defense. To. Come on, defense. Come on. Let's go. Facing a third and seven following the incompletion of oh, hell no, that hole's open. I can't do that. I can't leave that. Tannehill to throw. Rolling to his right. He's gonna let it fly. Oh, I just ended the game. It's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. He threw a pick and ended the game, bro. Oh my god, he's so fucking ass. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. Yeah, the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Oh my god, this kid's so bad. Behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense. Chiefs kingdom. The game. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. I was on fire in that game, not gonna lie. Jordan, is your bitch ass gonna get on Madden after that game, bro? So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Dang, they keep going ahead. 83 passing yards at 230.